Hey guys, what's going on? John out of Chicago. I'm happy to be back with another FSD video. A lot of debate going on about this reduced nag. So last week on May 13th, version 2025.14.6 came out for hardware three vehicles. This for hardware four vehicles was 13.2.9, a version increase. However, for hardware three vehicles, it was just another bug fix and it was still 12.6.4 however i drove 259 miles the very next day that's three and a half hours of driving and i did not notice any re reduction in the nag so i can say with full confidence that my car did not have the reduced nag now that does not speak for everybody it's highly possible that that was a bug my car may very well should have had the nag reduction inside of it but then sure enough today on the 20th we did get another update now as of today i have 2025.14.7 and i just took it for a ride and you'll see here in the video coming up what that drive was like now this is not giving me any nags i'm not i haven't gotten any nags i drove around for about five ten minutes and then executed actually smart summon in the rain and you're going to notice here as it approaches it's going to pull over to that yellow curb it's going to go past this one so i hope you enjoy that clip coming up but i can say now with 0.7 with my hardware three car with an intel processor I 100% have the reduced nag. How do I know? Well, I'm not gonna film myself cheating the system because that's basically what you're doing when you're trying to goof around. Because let's face it, you should be looking at the road at all times. To film yourself looking away and acting distracted, especially holding a phone is illegal in the state of Illinois. And I just on my way back as I was finishing up everything and not filming, I saw a police vehicle pull another car over. They weren't speeding, so I'm 100% certain they were using a mobile device. The police are constantly pulling people over. Now, does that mean I never use my phone in my car? No, it does not. Now, you used to, and I believe you still can, get away, and I, I'm never going to promote or say that you should do this, but you used to be able to put your phone like if you have a mount on your screen, for example, and it's in front of your face, but it's a little bit above the steering wheel, you used to be able to, you know, look at your screen, touch your screen, and the camera didn't care. The minute you moved it down into your lap, the camera would complain. It would say, pay attention to the road. It would have that blue flashing bar. You get all sorts of warnings and you had to abandon your device or reposition it. So I can say now, although I'm not going to show this on camera, I can say that you can now get away with using your phone a little bit down below, and you can also look at your screen a little bit longer. Just trust me on that. It is reduced now. The nag is reduced. And for those of you wondering, nag is the that blue symbol and saying, pay attention to the road. You get too many of those. You get a strike. You get five strikes and you can't use FSD full self-driving anymore. This is a word of caution. Don't abuse this new update. I could see some new people, but here's the thing. They reduced the nag for a reason. Their confidence is building. It's been a long time since I've had a critical and disengagement or a critical intervention. And you'll see in this drive coming up, FSD executes a U-turn with full on traffic approaching. And there's a lot of traffic and oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it just pulled it off. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you see that? There were all those cars coming behind. <laughs> and I was panicking. I was like, what is it doing? But I gave it the benefit of the doubt and it sped up and pulled into the parking lot. I could have gotten honked at. Nobody honked at me, but it was really really impressive and i think you'll you'll enjoy that part of the clip it is raining a little bit so the visibility isn't the greatest but it pulled it off and i was silently cheering in the background also actually smart summon beautiful performance i'll save a lot of my talking toward the end 
and let's jump straight into the video here. All right, we're ready to rock and roll here. It is 6.40 p.m. and it's still light outside. I absolutely love that part. And now uh, we're ready to go. So I'm going to bring up the overlay graphic. And again, behind the scenes, I can share exactly how I do all of this with you guys. But if I tap on this button here, I get this beautiful overlay. And it looks better when I go full screen like this. A little bit better, I think. Let's turn it on. Hopefully it takes off. Let's wait and see. <laughs> uh, just as I uh, sort of suspected, it's it's hesitating. I think hardware 4, uh, AI 4, has the same issue, I would say. Sometimes if you give it enough time, it will take off. A few moments later. Not trying to move at all. So I'm going to step on the accelerator here just a little bit, or the go pedal, depending on what you want to call it. Step on that, and there now it takes off. So Elon just did an interview. I found it fascinating because he denounced in that interview, he denounced yet again, and he's done this a couple times, but uh, you don't always hear about it in the news, that, that his salute was not a Nazi salute. He did emphasize that well I, I mean unfortunately what i've learned is that uh legacy media propaganda is very effective at uh, making people believe things that aren't true what would an example of that be uh that i'm a nazi for example right. and how many legacy media uh publications talk shows whatever uh try to claim that i was a nazi because of some random hand gesture gesture uh, at a rally where all i said was that my heart goes out to you and i was talking about space travel and yet, uh, the legacy media uh, promote, promoted that as though that was a deliberate Nazi gesture, where, when in fact, every politician, every, any public speaker who's spoken for any length of time has made the exact same gesture. And yet there's still people out there, uh, and I've never, harmed a, I've never harmed a single person. No, listen, you know what, Elon, I wasn't going to talk to you about it. Now, you asked for an example. I wasn't even going to talk to you about it, because in fact, I do terrible. know a number of people who are close to you, and I called them afterwards, and all of them to a person were like, no way, no way. Of course not. And by the way, you're going to see some some uh, color marks showing up on my screen. That I apologize for that. That is a glitch with the HDMI output. It seems to be unique to my car. I've gone back and forth. If you're interested in streaming your screen like I am here, you can reach out to Adam Urban, and he can hook you up with a screen. But I might have to turn off the wipers. It's not raining that much. And to do that, you just tap on the left side of the steering wheel right here and watch what happens here. Tap on it, and then it gives you this option. So I'm going to select off, and now the wipers are off. So that's a nice, a really nice feature that I use quite often to avoid having those wipers go when I'm filming like this. And then you don't get interrupted. Depending on how I'm capturing the signal, which I do it a number of different ways, I have a laptop solution. And I don't have any problem sharing all this with you guys, by the way. And over here, I have a tablet. And I use this tablet as well to, uh, to capture the video input. All right, let's get rid of the distractions here. The car's about to drive again. This is the nice thing is that eventually, and Elon mentioned this again in his interview, Eventually, you can sleep in your car and not have to worry about all this stuff. Um, but it's so nice, like if I were driving in a gas car, I would never have all this equipment around me. It's very distracting. And, and by the way, if you're going to do something like this, you have to have a minimal level of experience using this software because I definitely would not recommend having these distractions. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of experience, I would say, with FSD to understand situations. Now, there have been a lot of learning experiences for me, and I share those again in, on my behind the scenes videos on my Patreon. There's a, a couple things that are, are very important as you're filming to understand about what, you know, what could happen, disasters to avoid with your equipment in your car. And you're gonna see right now some some of the rain accumulating on uh, on the screen, I mean, that's not ideal, right? 
So I can ever so often trigger the windshield wiper, windshield wipers. There's a Tesla hanging out there. I don't know if you could see that there, but it went around. That was the new Model Y, I believe. Every so often I can trigger the wipers manually, but I have no idea where it's taking us. Oh, it looks like it's gonna do some fancy U-turn to get us over to this park. Okay, it's this Vogelay Park. Yeah, I think they have parking over there. Oh, you know what? I think it took us there once before. Uh, this will be a very quiet parking lot for testing Smart Summon. Um, with, that, <laughs> with that said, while I'm at this light, what I'm gonna do here, guys, and I apologize for being kind of all over the place. Well, take that back. We're starting to move here. I am going to end trip though, after we go through this turn, because I'm gonna have it go to a, a parking lot, to a, like a, a store. Now I'm gonna purposely pick a parking lot that I've never tested it in. So I'm gonna end trip, it's changing lanes. Oh, it's trying to go left. So there's a U-turn it was going to try to execute. I, I just took over manually. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Very carefully, of course. It's still uh, driving itself right now. Um, and it's keeping keeping up with the traffic in front of me. Uh, but I'm gonna show you here what I'm gonna do just so you can understand if you're new to this software, I'm gonna explain to you how I take over. You can either step on the brake to take over. You can push up on the drive stock to take over or you can jerk the steering wheel. My my preferred method is to press up on the drive stock and now I'm driving manually here. Um, so while I'm driving, great, it's starting to rain a little bit more. This is perfect for our smart summon test. Absolutely perfect timing for this. What I'm gonna do now while I'm driving manually is very carefully look, looking around. I'm gonna check to make sure nobody's behind me. I'm gonna change lanes manually and then at this light, what I'm gonna do is select a parking lot. Oh, you know what, there's a Best Buy up here on the left. Let's do that. Actually, I wanna get back over to the left. I was debating whether I should park on the right side or on the left side. I think we'll pick a the Best Buy on the left. Yeah, I think that'll be the best. We'll, we'll, we'll test the Best Buy. So from here, while we're at the light, what I'm gonna do is share with everybody here what I'm doing. I'm gonna say navigate to Best Buy. And it's going to pull up the Best Buy a mile away. Great. And it does want me to do a U-turn once I get up there, as you can see. So that's fine. So now from here, what I'm gonna do is single tap down to turn it back on again. I don't need to do anything down below with the pedal or anything. And it looks like when you re-enable it, the auto wipers take over again. So to turn that off, once again, what I would do is just tap on, on the left, turn it off. And now we're uh, having FSD drive us here automatically. Changing lanes, now I am surprised. I have been generally looking at the road for, for the majority of the time here, but I haven't gotten any, I'm, I'm obviously multitasking here and that's the beautiful thing about FSD by the way, is that it is an extra set of eyes on the road so you can do a little bit more while you're driving. Now, you have to be very, very careful in, about how, what you do and in, in the timing of when you do it. But that's the beautiful thing. Now, this is not giving me any nags. I'm not, I haven't gotten any nags. Someone was saying, I think it was Zach, Black Model 3, was saying that the new update, uh, he significantly noticed a difference with the nags, but I have not. Um, and that's just me. And I know I'm not the only one that has not experienced any difference. But right now, I am noticing a difference. So maybe it was some sort of little glitch. I'm not sure. But you can see we're about to do this U-turn. So let's see if it does it. See the U-turn? We're right at it. And there's a lot of traffic. And oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It just pulled it off. Oh my gosh, did you see that? There were all those cars coming behind. It did an amazing job and hopefully I don't get honked at. 
Wow. Oh my gosh. That's 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 next level. Like I was I was about to take over. I was like, don't go, but that's the thing. It's so smart. It knows the speed of the other traffic. It actually pulled that U-turn off. That is impressive. And look at here, it's actually parking itself really nicely in a parking space. <laughs> I am speechless, guys. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let me just show you it. It parked itself like perfectly in this space. That's incredible. Okay, so the rain is coming and going. It it's not full on, uh, you know, hitting hitting the car right now. We're here. I'm gonna put it in park. So let's do that here first. All right, here we go. Getting out of my car. I'm gonna get as far as away far away as I can from my car, and it's gonna be basically up on the curb. We're gonna check the radius and just see exactly where we can summon it from. And again, this is really great if you're coming out with groceries, especially nice when it's raining like it is right now. Thankfully, it's not pouring for me, but it would be great to test it in a scenario where it is pouring down, maybe on another day. Okay, you can see we're getting now closer to that perimeter. My car is way over there. I can barely see it now. So from here, I'm just gonna hold it down and the car will come to me. Now, the nice thing is as it's preparing here, now the video feed shows up and we've got some water on the back lens there. But you can see as it's backing up, you can just check to see that it's not gonna hit a curb or anything. And it looks pretty good. Now I'm also keeping an eye on it here as it's coming to me. It says release to stop. Looks like a car just drove right past mine and it's moving pretty good. The rain has subsided a little bit. It is coming down, it's just barely sprinkling, but my windshield wipers are going off and now we have a car coming up behind. Looks like they parked. And here comes my car and you can see on the video feed as well, just to make sure. But from here, it's a clear path and you're gonna notice here as it approaches, it's going to pull over to that yellow curb. It's gonna go past this one. And it's gonna pull over, it's already doing it. And watch this, they changed recently, they changed where the hazard lights will go on. So once it finishes, see how it's blinking now? But I'm still holding down the button and it stops blinking. I really, and it says summon complete, I really wish that it would continue blinking until you get in your car. That would be ideal. So there you have it, another successful Actually Smart Summon, a great U-turn performance, excellent rain performance. The only degradation with rainy conditions is when you're driving on a highway, it will limit your speed depending on the visibility. But all said and done, FSD has been operating so well, which is a big reason why I have not been filming very much. And I actually didn't think to confirm the software. Yeah, it's still 12.6.4. So this is not like a 12.6.5 or, or you know a major upgrade. It's just bug fixes and minor things that have been addressed. I hope this was helpful or useful for some of you guys. I know a lot of you that watch my videos, you already have FSD, you're using it regularly. But for those of you that have never used it or are curious, I hope you learned something. Um, of course, what, who am I to say that you should should be learning something? Um, I, and I don't really care that you learn something or not. I, I just hope that you enjoy these videos. I enjoy making them and that's all that matters here. Thanks so much guys. I'll see you in the next one.